The new iPad OS 26 update that's coming later this year to the iPad feels more Mac-like than ever before with some really great changes on how you can control, rearrange, and position different applications on your iPad. Now you'll most likely get an intro screen showing you the new iPad OS 26 features. Keep in mind, this is a beta, and so just wanted to reiterate again, what you're seeing is a beta build. But one of the questions that you'll see at the beginning of the update is that there's a full screen apps option and a full screen and windowed apps option. Now, if you end up missing this, you can go into multitasking and gestures in the settings app to switch between these modes. Or if you just want to switch between windowed and stage manager, you can do that by just long pressing on the icon and you'll see the two options that you can switch between. Now, if you immediately launch into any app, you'll be in full screen by default. However, if you look towards the bottom right corner, you'll see the little resizing indicator and you can immediately just drag the corner around the iPad and resize the app to whatever size that you want. You can open tons of different apps. You can place them wherever you would like around the screen and even off screen too in order to allow for more apps to be opened. You can quickly tile windows by simply just flicking the app to either the left or right part of the screen. And now you can even split your iPad into thirds or quarters with these apps. I think using these stoplight icons here in the left corner is the easiest way to do this. And obviously this comes from Mac OS, so it should feel pretty familiar to you. You can close the app, you can minimize, and most importantly, if you long press the green expand, you'll see these options to move and resize and also fill and arrange. So the third and quarter options can be found here and it makes it just easier to one click rearrange. Expose also makes its way over from Mac OS to iPad OS and it basically just gives an update and replaces the app switcher gesture with a more refined and easier to navigate app switcher. All you do is simply swipe up and hold like you used to and you'll get a little bit of a different layout. This is the Expose layout out and it'll include the ones that you're grouping together. So all of the apps that you have just kind of grouped together and the full screen apps during your multitasking session. Apple also brings over its menu bar so that you can quickly find commands that you need within an app. And it's always available, but it is kind of hidden at the top of the screen. So either you bring your mouse up to the top or you can swipe down and you'll see a familiar looking menu bar at the ready and it works across all applications. Aside from multitasking, there are a few other features that Apple has added here to make things even more more Mac OS like, such as a supercharged files app that now features the ability to create custom folders with emojis for icons and you can add different colors to them and also an updated list view with resizable columns. You can even set the default app for opening specific file types. You can also right click and add folders to the dock for quick and easy access. Apple also brought the preview app over from the Mac now to the iPad and the iPhone, which makes life so much easier when you're working within PDFs and images. You have access to the same tools that you would on the Mac and it even works with Apple Pencil. So if you need to autofill a document, add signatures, etc., Preview has you covered. And the same thing with images. I use images on my Mac to quickly rotate or mark up an image and now you can do that with the Preview app on the iPad to get things done ASAP. Lastly, if you're a power user who needs to process some tasks in the background, for example, you're moving large files and you don't want to have to look at the import screen the whole time, or if you are exporting a video in Final Cut Pro, you can actually do all of this in the background now. Specifically with exporting a video, you kind of needed to stay put in the Final Cut Pro app while the resource intensive tasks like exporting a video happens in the background. But these iPads are so powerful that it kind of didn't make sense that you weren't able to jump around between apps and get other things done. But now you can export and then immediately close out of that app and go into other things and your project will still remain exporting in the background. Again, this is just another change that brings the iPad and iPad OS much more in line with Mac OS. So what do you think of iPad OS 26's new multitasking and productivity features that have been specifically ported over or inspired by the Mac? Let us know in the comments down below. This has been Down With Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.